And now it's time for your viewer comments. Scott Burnett says here, personally, I love the CW logo. So he's talking about the CW um, C65 bronze that I, Dune, C65 Dune bronze that I reviewed uh, last week. And it actually means something, according to him. Being English, though, I am not exactly impartial, but that's fine. You don't have to be impartial with these kind of things. You can be partial with all you want. Not sure this is the fairest comparison on aesthetics, but the Aurora very purposely given a brutalist style, case, shape, and dimensions. Yes, that is true. I was aware of that. The Dune is immaculate though, and matching the bronze bracelet, etc. He he um, owns the, uh, these two brands, so that's a that's a good thing. Well, it's a good thing for the brands, but not, <laughs> not for any of us who. Um, who have no stock on these um, these watches and these watch brands but going back to that logo I am also uh, in agreement with uh, Scott here it is a very good decision in CW to actually simplify their logo remove their own um, text of uh, Christopher Ward and um, it may have been divisive at first but now everybody or not everybody but a lot of people are now in favor of this new logo it's a little bit patriotic uh, some may may put it but to me it looks aesthetically pleasing and simple and actually now iconic and that's what you want when you have a brand when you have a, an emblem it has to be iconic that's the, the whole that's why it, it's called an icon you know? it's easy to, to spot you don't have to read it you just identify with that uh, design and actually that's what CW with Christopher Ward was able to do so kudos to them I think that's one of their biggest changes that um, that is significant to the brand the, the change of logo they've changed their logo uh, a few times but this one I hope would stick and seeing from the reception from their fans it's actually a very good thing Ville uh, why did I say Ville Bill Somerset 238 says, I don't think the comment, guys, please pay attention, was very polite. I understand how you feel, but I think that that can be taken as rude. I've never been in a store and have a sales associate tell me, pay attention. You're running a store selling yourself. Okay. Now, Bill Somerset here may have some good intentions because he is concerned at me being or coming off as rude otherwise he would not not commented i appreciate that that you're uh, looking after my uh, reputation here but let us all keep in mind that this is a pirate show and have you ever seen a pirate that's not rude food for thought you should think that you should you should, you should uh, maybe you should watch more of my uh, videos so that you can see or maybe watch the whole context or the whole show because again this these small segments are cut from a longer form show and if you look at that then maybe you'll understand the context of uh, why I, I say those things and also I don't find that as rude when I ask people to pay attention it's like when your teacher is telling you hey pay attention do you find that rude it is their job or you're paying them so that you actually pay attention you're actually going to my channel to pay attention and not just watch me bumble over or like make a string of bloopers and, and, and outtakes or maybe you are watching my channel because of that and if you do then you're banned from the show I don't know what you're, what you're thinking right now but if you are concerned at me okay you're not banned from the show but i'm not rude user hq8qk8yr8d i, I assume youtube's just making up these uh, numbers um he or she is commenting on the proof the jlc is better than rolex he says or she says disagree look at that dusty edge of the hands 
Well, you sir, whoever you may be. Newsflash. Jails is not the only one. Look at this. Look at Patek. Look at Rolex. They all have that. So, uh, maybe you should lower your expectations. That uh, dust and edges, uh, or, or like rough edges on these um, watches actually count. But let's look at it this way. Uh, me- as much as these watches are machined or uh, made uh, in factories with, with different kinds of mass production techniques, it's still going to have these impurities. It's inevitable. There's no such thing as a completely pristine watch or anything in this world. There's going to be defects. There's going to be like these smaller um, imperfections. That's actually what makes these watches so valuable and pricey and unique and higher end, luxurious, if they have less of these uh, imperfections. But that doesn't mean that they're perfect or they're completely uh, devoid of these uh, imperfections, dusts and scratches and whatnot. So maybe you should expect less from your higher end watches. Abdul Watches says, I think Panerai is going a different route with the smaller sizes and even precious metals complication watches. Yes, Abdul Watches is right. Of late, you could see that Panerai is starting to go the route of smaller watches because they could see there's like a big audience that they've been uh, gathering because of these smaller, more accessible um, sizes. Before, we could see that they're really known as these big watches for big burly men and big wrists, right? But now, they're offering also for the more common crowd. And I think that's a good idea. And in fact, well, working from Shiba's, I now discovered that actually one of their more popular brands is Panerai and we've been moving a lot of Panerais and even in this slow season there's a lot of Panerais being sold so that just goes to show that there really is a big market remember we live here in Aruba and we're moving a lot of Panerais so uh, Panerai's got something going for them and that's I think a large part is because of these new sizing options that they've been offering see like if that's him like yeah he's a very manly man if you ask me and yes g-shocks and panerai go hand in hand if you can pull it off why not you know and both watches are built to last and they're built like tanks and um it's just a a matter of taste uh dami su here and with that we're actually going we're going to our zeros portion right away but this is a, a different kind of zealous portion that we're going to uh, do so let's cue mr celine driver as usual with our show i know panerai makes great watches i can even admit this featured panerai is good looking it's just that wart on the side that 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 thing I think that's how he pronounced that. That looks so Rube Goldberg. I, I have to research that. What does, what, he, what does he mean by that? I just can't do it, sir. I can't get past that thing hanging off the side. That's Mr. Zilos. Now, Mr. Zilos, I understand. And I have said before, it's a matter of preference. And your preference is against Panerai. But just to irritate you a little bit more here's that pesky little wart on the side but this time on the side of a zealous hammerhead as a bonus here's a here, here it is on the side of a zealous mako or a zealous black tip hope you like it see you next time